boy. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> it was just raining like earlier and now it's Huh? It was raining really hard. Yeah, this morning it was like storming. Day. Uh, and now we're going to get a pool. Uh, <laughs> We've donned our masks. We have donned our masks. Ooh. We've donned our masks and we are going to Walmart right now. Sounds like a terrifying experience. Uh, to pick up an above ground swimming pool. We uh, were spontaneous. Yeah. Well, because listen, we've been in quarantine since March. March. And we have no life. We have no life. We're, we're losing our minds. Um, no, we just have, first of all, it's Florida. It's hot. Summer is approaching. We have birthdays coming and nothing that we can do for those birthdays. Nowhere yeah. that we can go to celebrate. Yeah. So uh, we want a pool. <laughs> All I wanted was to go to the beach. Can't even go to the beach. Have my 60th, which is a milestone. But we can't do that. We bought a pool. We're going to measure out uh, a space in our backyard for it and somehow level out the ground before we set it up. This is going to be a hassle. What is today? Today's Wednesday? It's going to be worth it. Today's Wednesday, the May 27th. And we need it done by Monday, June 1st. Yep. So, anyway, we're going to Walmart now to pick it up. And I'm terrified. It's it's scary there. It's an adventure. It's an adventure. An adventure in, in a pandemic. Well, we're trying to pick up the pool, but we don't really know where we're supposed to be picking it up. Yeah, we went to the pickup area and they said, you have to go inside and get it. Does it, I mean, does the car feel like it's in trouble? No, it'll be fine. Okay. Well, no, because when they were loading it in the car, I felt the whole car just kind of... Yeah, that's heavy. Buy a swimming pool, they said. It's summer. It'll be fun, they said. I guess we're not setting it up today. Good lord, do you see how the wind is moving that rain right now? I know, you can't go outside to play. I know, it's so sad. Oh girl, you know how long it's been since I've had a haircut? I can't get any of this like shaved down the way that I want it. I need a haircut. This is our backyard and we have some serious work to do with it. It's 18 feet? Yeah, in diameter. Diameter? Yes. Did you, do you remember math? Middle school math? <laughs> so the radius is half of the diameter, which is, what? <laughs> I want it right here. Yeah. Thanks for showing us. <laughs> I agree, I think that would be best. What, so what we want to do is measure where the center is going to be and then measure out. We want to measure out from the center nine all around. So where's, where do you have them? <laughs> is your foot 12 inches long? So we need to measure, measure out the space and then we're going to do the weed killer and then we have to wait at least 10 minutes because we're not allowed to get it wet because then this lovely, lovely um, ant hill pile, there's a couple of them actually, oh, wow. We need to put the ant killer down and then irrigate. So we don't want to, the ground has to be dry for the weed killer, but then we need to irrigate this area. So we've got to like work in, in, in batches. Right. There are ants everywhere. Of course, I don't like that I choose today when I look like this to vlog, but whatever, it's fine. <laughs> no, cause I need a haircut. I don't know all these people freaking out about not being able to get a haircut, but like, I, I shave all this by myself and it's usually fine. I just can't get the back right. And then like this area right here where it's shaved, I can't get that either. Anyway, forgive the fact that I look like a mess. I'm a mess too, my grays are showing. Oh no, your grays are showing. You're turning 60 yeah. next hey, week. I'm Hello. 60. Hello, got to have some grays there. <laughs> so there's a slight change of plans. We've never put a pool together. We don't know anything about it, so we're gonna run into some snafus. We're pool virgins. We are 
that's All inappropriate. Right. <laughs> we are heading to Lowe's right now, and if we can't find what we need at Lowe's, we'll go to Home Depot. So I, I think Lowe's will have it. It's all good. Uh, we just went to a pool store near us, talked to the experts, because they know what they're doing. This guy that's in front of us doesn't know what he's doing. Nope, he's blocking the intersection. The intersection the just, road. That guy can't get in. So the pool experts have advised us that the best thing to do, or the easiest thing to do, I guess, because this is not a pool that we are keeping, you know, installed in this house for a very long time. It's one that can be deconstructed for the season and put back up and whatever. Um, what we're planning on doing is um, spraying the weed killer to, to kill those weeds. We're gonna get some sand. We'll have to ask the people at Lowe's how much we'll need. Uh, the sand is gonna level out the ground and then apparently there's this foam material. He said it's not foam, but it's foam uh, that we place down on top of the sand that's gonna go underneath the pool essentially so that it doesn't feel like we're walking on the ground where I feel like we're walking on like a firm surface, I guess. Uh, so we're going to go get those things. We're gonna kill the weeds and lay a tarp down because it looks like it's gonna rain and we're not allowed to let it get wet. Um, plus we have to wait for those ants to die anyway. Mm -hmm. They don't wanna die. Um, put the tarp down and then we're gonna leave it for the night. We have all day tomorrow and Saturday, all day tomorrow and, s and Sunday to, to lay down the sand, lay down the foam, and install the pool. Ooh, happy graduation. Happy graduation. <laughs> we're gonna figure it out, all right? We're desperate for a pool. All right, we got birthdays coming up. It's been a long time. It's been a long, we've, I don't know about you. I Actually, I know you didn't grow up with a pool. I don't know if you had pools at any other houses, but we've had a pool pretty much ever since I was born. And then yeah, we did. the last 10 years, we have not had a pool. And I don't know how we survived for 10 years in the Florida heat without a pool. The it AC just doesn't make any game. sense. Well, that's who survived. <laughs> I guess that's fair. But yeah, like we can't even, we can't even like get a gym membership to go swimming at the pool there because uh, gyms aren't open, and it's nope. dangerous. Yep. Also, gym pools suck because they're super cold. Anyway, what is your percentage or probability of success, do you think, by by the end of day Sunday? Oh, oh, I was gonna say, oh, we'll get it done. I don't know when we'll get it done, but we'll get it done. I, I, I think we have a 100% chance of success by Sunday. 100%. Uh, honestly, I do. Doesn't, as long as we don't run into any snafus, we don't need, we don't need 24 50 pound bags of sand. We don't need that much. Okay, I meant to bring the camera inside and then I decided not to because I thought it was gonna be too hectic and I was right. Um, here's what we got. We had to get, I'll explain more what these are. We had to get two of these, three bags of sand, and then we needed the tape. Uh, this, this was the ordeal that we had to figure out what kind of, of this to get, which we'll explain more when we're not in public. But first we gotta load this in the car, this stuff's heavy. Well, we were gonna do weed killer and stuff tonight, but... Ooh. It's scary. That's scary looking. I don't know if we're gonna, ooh. I don't know if we're gonna have time to, ooh, lightning. So we're getting an early start to the day. Uh, which was a little earlier because it's pretty hot already. And it's extremely humid because it rained the night before. So that's fun. The ant killer did wonders. I don't see a single ant anywhere in this vicinity, even where there were ants like over here. This is where all the like mounds were at. I'm not seeing any ants, so that's good. We still gotta level out this whole area here. Um, we've made a bit of a revelation uh, because those three patches of sand that you see right here, that's three 50 pound bags of sand, all right? Uh, this, is, uh, this is the whole area that we need to, all this is what we need to have uh, taken care of. So we need quite a bit more than <laughs> three more bags of sand. It's hard to measure something like this because well, when anyone on the internet agrees, 
like you know when they all have pretty much the same answer oh god there's a wasp oh god oh god is that the loner from yesterday i think so oh i lost it i lost it i don't, I don't know what where it is it there? Where is it the don't say that you're lying he did i saw him <laughs> I'm so scared. That's what I was saying. Uh, oh, it's hard to measure just how much we need um, based on how our our backyard is now, because the disparity between if, if you're counting the entire area that needs to be taken care of, um, it's hard to measure on a flat surface, a 2D surface or whatever. Um, you know which pieces of this entire area. Uh, are higher which pieces are lower uh, some sections are lower than others so the height difference between each of these sections throughout the whole area is not something that can be e easily measured so we called, the experts. we called the experts what can be easily measured and the reason they have an answer for us is because if we take into account if we dug up this whole area about two inches right then we know we have a uniform surface but not a flat surface because we've dug up that dirt uh it's been determined that we would need about two to two and a half tons of sand which is pretty much huh huh tons. isn't that what i said yeah. <laughs> That's a lot. tons two and a half two to two and a half tons of sand um which is pretty much what everyone has been saying and that number doesn't click in your head as a, as a correct number because it seems insane but again that is 150 pounds of sand right there. When you take into account that one 50 pound bag of sand is about $5, we would need about 80 bags. I think that's the right math. Yep. Yeah, that's two tons. It's yep. 4,000 pounds. Yep. So 80 bags at $5 a bag is about $400. Whereas the sand people, I still don't know what place you're talking about. The Mulchin sand place, I don't know. Uh, they can deliver us two and a half tons of sand. Deliver it to us, because that's an insane amount of sand. <laughs> um, for less than $200. The only problem is they can't get it to us until Wednesday. That's the earliest they can get it to us. We were hoping to have this done by Monday. It's just not going to happen. Um, if we cut corners, we risk uh, damaging the pool itself um, or injuring ourselves. And we don't want to do that, we kind of want to keep it. So even though it is the harder thing to do, uh, we need to properly measure out a space because we were kind of just, I mean, we measured it, but we were not that precise. Measure out the 18 feet plus an extra foot about. Dig it out about two inches deep. Wait until Wednesday to get the sand. And then we're going to need to, we're going to need to fill it and, um, put the chemicals in and then wait 24 hours and get a uh, water test done so by your birthday it'll be done it's a process. but it's not it's just not as much as we w wish it was it's not something that we can do in a weekend it's a bright side. I mean think about it this way we're very privileged to be yep. just spray that right in my face Sorry, sorry. <laughs> we're very privileged to be able to as hard work as this is going to be very privileged to be able to have the opportunity to have something like this in the first place this is not something we would have been able to do in the past and the fact that we're able to do it now is a positive thing and we can't let the fact that we're impatient <laughs> get to us yeah. patience is a virtue paciencia y fe patience and faith so even though it's so hot and we wish we could be swimming right now because this is perfect, perfect swim weather. What is it? Probably 98 out? Probably 90. No. A bit of a breeze. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. We're going to we're going to work on getting this area ready for the sand. She's spraying a bunch more weed killer. Yeah, we're going to let it sit, I guess, for a little bit, dig out the area. Um, try to flatten it in there as much as we can. We gotta get a wheelbarrow because I don't think they're gonna be able to get the truck full of sand through our to our backyard. This side, the fence doesn't have like a gate, so we can't open it for them. And then over on this other side, it's a lot more narrow. This like entrance, and we have that air conditioner, so it's not gonna be easy for them to get through. 
can't exactly move the air conditioner. So, we're probably gonna need to work twice as hard and get the wheelbarrow out here okay. and start uh, filling up that hole with sand. It's so hot out and there's still wasps. I hate it, I hate Florida. You wanted me to give the people an update? Well, we've been working hard. She's been working hard. Um, I came out here a little bit ago to try and help. It cooled off, so I don't know how you got anything done in the heat. Not that it's cool out, but you know, with the sun blaring down. We remeasured the circle because uh, what we had was not precise. So we measured it again and we went ahead and pulled up as many of the weeds as we could. Um, so now we're, she's raking it out to uh, smooth it, I guess, to get it ready for the sand that's coming tomorrow. Um, tiny little snafu. Uh, we found this piece of rebar in the ground. Um, not sure what we're going to do about it. Either bury it again or try and find a way to cut it or I don't know. But this is how it's looking right now. You can see the areas that have been smoothed right around here. Not perfect, but we're not. We're just trying to get the weeds out of the way. But look at her. She working hard, girl. You working hard for your pool. You're gonna Well, the pool won't be ready until this weekend. So, it'll be ready by your birthday for sure. Leo, what do you think about us having a pool? Are you going to enjoy it? I kind of like that we're doing an above ground with the cats here because at the old house, they drank that pool water all the time. Mm -hmm. It's probably what <laughs> killed them. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, take a break. Or if you want to just get all those weeds out to the center and then take a break because we're not going to get this fully, fully smooth. Uh, which we shouldn't anyway. We need that other sand to help us fill in those gaps. So this, I feel like this is once we figure out what to do with that rebar, and then uh, get those these weeds like out toward the edge. Then I think we're ready for tomorrow. That's where the fun begins, and where the well, the hard work won't stop. But no, this has not been fun. It's so sunny. Where's the sun? It's so hot. At least. The wind is blowing, so that's a plus. That's true, but about 20 minutes ago, the sun was also behind the clouds. Fitz is watching you from a distance. Don't worry, Fitz. We clear all that out. We've a nice little area to observe us. That's a dry throat. That's, yeah, it's dry throat. It's not corona. Have a water. You're working so hard. Happy birthday to you. Early birthday. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's hot. That's what you do when it's hot. Ooh, boy oh boy. I don't know what we're gonna do about that. But yeah, I mean, this is a this is a good sized pool, I think, you know? It's not bad. Hey, Leo. You hanging out in the woods? Where it's nice and shady? Is Shady in there? We're gonna build you a catio too, so you can uh, hide away from the sun and the rain. Have fun finishing that. You're working real hard, I appreciate you. Thank you for that. <laughs> what is the solution to our rebar problem? What was it? Aha! Wait, are you sure that's not a second rebar? Are you sure that's not a second rebar? Oh my god, wait, there's another one under it. There's three of them. You're staying under there. There's three of them. You, where's that three? This, oh. There's three of them. You know, that's three of them. That is three of them. So, so leave that one and that one in the ground. This one that we've already torn up, we need to get rid of that one. When I didn't hit anymore and I thought that that one had ended. So this one could be, careful, you hurt your back. Oh, oh, there you go. Bye, Felicia. Now these two? I mean, I'm not digging all the way down there. It's the same size as that guy. Bury it. Bury it. <laughs> oh, hello. Come inside. 
Okay, don't cry about it. Just go in. You can go in. No, yes, you can go in. Just stop crying. Go inside. The door is open. <laughs> go inside. Listen here, Missy. Go inside. You know? Oh, that's cute. You're staying in here? Well, you can't stay in here for long. Because we got to move stuff. All right? Okay? Okay. This is not pleasant lighting. The, the, oh. No, I'm a little washed out. This is our garage. Uh, it's kind of a lot of stuff in here. I feel like every time we organize it and like make space in here it gets messed up again uh, a lot of this stuff like all this right here is pool stuff uh, that's a cat tree that we're working on but like a lot of this is pool stuff that giant box is what the pool came in and it is molly's new favorite thing she's destroying it by laying on top of it we need to make room in here because the the sand is being delivered to us today between one and three, it's like 11 right now. And um, it's supposed to start raining around one, between one and three. So what we need to do, and I'm not sure how best we're gonna do this. Um, they're not gonna be able to fit the truck into the side of the house, so just dump it into the hole. That would be ideal and we'd be, you know, pretty much ready to go. They can't do that. So what we have to do is move uh, the cars off the driveway, lay out a tarp for them so that they can dump the sand onto the tarp. Again, this is two and a half tons of sand. We uh, got the tarp out. It's uh, pretty big. All right, now I guess we just wait for the, for the sand guys. Hope it doesn't rain, fingers crossed it doesn't rain. If it does start raining and we decide to just keep moving forward with it, I'll just film from <laughs> inside. Hey guys. Hi. Hi. It's gonna rain soon. You wanna come in? You wanna say hi? Hi, what's going on? Oh, what's going on? Hello. Oh, oh, be nice, Molly, be nice. Zippy hates him, oh my gosh. Zippy. Oh, okay, no, no, no. No one is intimidated by your sappy meow. Sorry, Leo. Yeah, but you saw what the 50 pounds, 50 pound bags were like. Starting to pour. Whoa. Wild. Look at what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, next one not so heavy. Okay. It's easy on the concrete, but it's not here. How much sand do you think's in there? A lot. This is probably 300 pounds. At least 200. Nice. You scrunk. You wanna switch? No, we can't do this. Oh. You're probably right. Are you sure that going in through the house, even with the lip, wouldn't be easier? You can't lift it over the lip. No? You can try the next one if you want to, not put so much sand in it. Do it lighter next time, yeah. Yeah. If we take buckets instead of a big trash can, like we're taking less at a time, but we can 
move it quicker than struggling with it, you know? I'm gonna have to turn this off for now because this is a more than two person job and there's only two of us. Whew, this is not an easy job. Oh boy, guys, it's gonna start coming down. You can see we've made some progress. I don't know how good that progress is. I think maybe that's like a little less than a quarter of the sand. There's still a lot, a lot left. I don't know, man. It's a lot of sand. Look at my mama working so gosh dang hard. Yeah, I cut my hand twice on the uh, trash can when we were loading sand into there and then trying to pull it out. Uh, we ended up pulling it and like scooping it from the trash can in the buckets because we couldn't, it was breaking the trash can. Mm -hmm. And lifting, I don't know if you knew this, but like lifting a shovel full of sand up out of a trash can, uh, it's not easy or smart. I, don't, I, can't, I can't gauge with my eyeballs how much sand that is and how much is left. Pounds would be plenty. And I'm like, Sam. I thought, I mean, until yeah. I saw, like, when you had emptied it, I was like, to say this is an arduous job is an understatement. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, listen, look on the bright side. Leo used to be feral. And now he's like, I want to come inside. He's a happy boy. We've been at this for an hour, folks. I mean, getting some decent coverage but not enough to flatten fully. It's just after two, the forecast says it's about to rain, uh, or it's gonna be raining around three. She's gonna go until three o'clock, she said. You're out of your mind. Why? That you can go another hour without a break. Loading sand. I can't, I'm doing two shovels only because it's not as heavy, so I can go longer. See, I did more shovelfuls in my bucket because I didn't think I could make as many trips. I'm done, I quit. My face is nowhere near as red as her face is right now. She says she's fine. She can go another hour without a break. I'm spent, dude. I'm so, I'm so tired. That's a lot of work. Sand is heavy. Why is sand heavy? So it's pretty much five o'clock now and it has not started raining yet. Uh, my mom's a little annoyed, I think, because uh, we started to feel little raindrops here and there. So we, um, you know, wrapped up the tarp and like weighed it down so the sand wouldn't get everywhere. But it hasn't rained yet. So this is all we got done for today. We're gonna just get up early in the morning and get back at it, I guess. Well, we should have finished this yesterday. <laughs> I, uh, why did we listen to Google? She said it would rain at two, it didn't rain at two, but then at three it started to get like really cloudy. So we're like, let's pack it up. And then she said at four and then five, six, seven, nine. And then midnight and it never rained and now it's coming down. I don't know man, if it's gonna keep raining like this for the next few days we might not have it by Monday. Wow. These are the snap hoops I was talking about. Yep, that still looks like a lot of sand and I can't even see it under the tarp. <laughs> How much do you think we moved yesterday? Half a ton? Or almost a ton? Almost a ton. Almost a ton of sand. Well, it'll get done when it gets done. Mm -hmm. Hurricane season is coming too. Well, it's here, but, <laughs> you know. So, my gosh, I need to do my hair really badly. Look at that, what is that? It is now Friday, June 5th. We originally started this process thinking we'd be done in five days. It's now been 10 days, so. We're starting again. We didn't get to do anything yesterday because it rained all day long. So we didn't get to finish up this, which is really frustrating because we stopped early thinking that it was gonna rain and then it didn't rain until like really, really, really late at night. Girl, no, no, no. Yeah, it's like starting to sprinkle. It's fine, I don't care. All right, well, you know what? Let's just do it. I'm just I'm going to I'm going to leave a camera inside and we're just going to do it. We got to get done. We got to get done. We have protective gear this time. Yeah. Woo all right. I'll bring the shovel to get it out. 40 minutes 
it took him to do more than what it took us two hours to do together. You could probably push that even. I can. Yeah. <laughs> or if you want me to do it, so your knee was hurting. You got it? We got this one, Tyler. Woohoo! The dude moved like one and a half tons of sand on his own in an hour. In an hour. It took us two hours the other day to do what we showed earlier. He did like all the rest of it. That is insane. You got it? Don't tip over. Don't fall now. Ladies and gentlemen, it is done. This is the last of the sand. Two and a half tons of sand minus probably about a hundred pounds that we traipsed through the house and <laughs> spilled over there. My Holy moly. We do still have 150 pounds in the My car. Right there. Yeah, we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> There's still 150 pounds in the car though. Now we just have to level out the whole area, yeah, park away. set the foam down, uh, build the pool on top of it, fill it up, uh, straighten out the bottom, get all the wrinkles out, uh, fill it 90% of the way, and then get the chemicals in it. Holy crap. I think that might actually work because you're pulling up, you're, you're flattening it, and you're pulling up all that extra sand, and then we can use that extra sand to fill up those holes, go over it again, smooth it out again. And then if we tamp it down, then it'll be ready for us to install the pool on top of it. If only we had a machine to do all this stuff for us. <laughs> I think this is the way to do it. And we don't need to go buy a, a tamper if we've got like this. <laughs> Doesn't cover as much area, but it'll do. Oh yeah. Oh, this is gonna work. This is certainly a unique way to level out the ground. To the naked eye, it looks like it's it's doing a good job, but the real test is going to be standing on it with the foam. That was my concern with switching to this method versus just pulling it ourselves, was that we're not putting as much pressure on it, but yeah, so if you're seeing your footprints after you run through it, it's not level. The only other thing I worry about is like maybe the surface is level, but the more I look at it, the more I'm like, this is sloped. Yeah, it's sloped. Yeah, you, we can't have it that way. <laughs> Why did we start this big giant project? We go swimming. Damn, is that too much to ask? <laughs> Apparently. There's no going back. There, the only option is to buy a big trampoline and set it up here and then we're done. A trampoline? <laughs> well, there's no going back. We're already committed. What's a trampoline going to do for a swimming problem? Well, it's not. You know what I'm saying? Daytona, Stanford, Lake Mary, Orange City, and Lake Helen. Whoa. Imminent extreme alert. I don't like that it says that. City. Best thing to do is maybe go find a shelter or maybe to a friend's or a neighbor's house uh, because this has had a history of producing damage and uh, it did do some. Where did this come from? This is, this it's is heading up velocity. toward it's us. It's in Sanford heading up toward us. Um, but this, that's where we're, we're developing a tornado. Trying to develop. Looks like it's coming down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. my god. There's a rotation. Oh jeez. It's getting dark. It's right behind the tree now. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure you guys still till 845. June for us to talk about a system capable of producing a tornado for now going on an hour and here we are still talking about it. It is June 28th. We are tired. This project has gone on far, far, far too long and uh, we're at a point now where we're not giving up but like we are being impatient. We're skipping ahead. We worked on leveling out the ground. The problem that we were having was that the yard was sloped downward and if the yard is sloped and the pool gets put on a slope like that the water is going to shift to that side of the pool because of gravity and then it could burst so we've been working on filling up that area and because there's such a dip there now where we've leveled it out we need gravel to like keep that sand in place uh we did buy foam that we were going to put down so that it's easier to walk on but i just don't know if it's worth the trouble if it's even going to work out the foam feels very brittle so we decided we're not going to do it, we're just going to send that foam back and uh, leave the sand as the base. 
which may not entirely work because we were not aware that we were supposed to properly level out the soil first and then tamp it down and then put the sand and we just went straight in with the sand and tried to level it and that was a huge mistake but it is what it is uh, so we're waiting on the gravel right now so that we can keep the sand from shifting and and uh, settling into that dip that we have but we've put the liner out <laughs> a huge step forward the ground seems level enough uh, liner has to sit out in the sun for an hour which we're worried that it might start raining so we figured we'd put it out now let it sit while we wait for the gravel and we're gonna try and once the sun sets put it together start filling it see if we can't tomorrow or maybe Tuesday get the water sample done and see if it'll be ready for us but it's just been such a long process because it's Florida it rains here a lot and it has been raining here a lot and uh, when it's not raining the heat index is 105 or more so uh, we've done what we can let's hope this works out and that we're at the finish line and of course there's a plane overhead Leo hi he come running so I don't know when the last time we updated you guys was or what we had explained to you was the situation last we left it uh, today's August 1st <laughs> So it's been a while. We went ahead and put up the pool and we filled it. Filling it was a whole other thing because um, it rained a lot and the rainwater was not chlorinated, I guess, because we didn't get to fully fill it all at once. Uh, so we never got it chlorinated um, and it got kind of gross and tadpole-y and stuff. So we were just gonna throw the the tablets in to kill it shock the pool clean it whatever um but once it was full like completely full we realized that the it, it's too unlevel it's too sloped and we need to start over <laughs> as awful as that sounds the summer is basically coming to an end and we're having to start all over but right now we have a hurricane that is expected to hit us in about a day or two so we had to drain the pool uh, and we're gonna have to take it down today. Luckily, once the hurricane passes, then we can, you know, fix the ground the way we're supposed to do it. We're gonna have to still shock the pool because there's tadpoles in there, and once we, like, fully empty it and clean it and stuff, we don't want a lot of frogs in our backyard. So, we're gonna have to take care of that and start all over in August. <laughs> Just taking the pool apart now. There's still some water in the pool because the little thing to drain it is right there and there's still a good three inches, two and a half inches of water. Can I get more footage? Yeah, why not? Don't you spray me. You still got a, a ways to go. You wanna wait till it's like one or two inches. Yeah, you'll kinda just come up to the edge and then like kick your feet at it. I don't know. I, just, I, just started. I know you guys are still adjusting and stuff, but like this one's like not even on the paper anymore. Yeah. How does the how does the bottom feel though? It feels way more comfortable than the last time. Okay. Seems the water is pooling on this side a little bit. My jeans. No, those are my jeans. <laughs> those are my jeans. Tell the people. You're cute jeans. Tell what? <laughs> what do I need? <laughs> tell them the difference now that Two we have. Two inches. Two inches. What do was it last camera? time? I mean, sure, I'll zoom in. What was it last time? What was that difference? I didn't measure it, but it looked like four or five. Yeah. One and a half. One and a half? Is it even better? Is it even better? One and a half. And then two and a half. One That's a one, one inch difference. <laughs> Heck yeah. The experts say no more than two inch difference. Two inches and you're fine. I'm still a little worried about these pavers. You can tell looking at it, it's like you can tell that the water's not perfectly level on the two sides, but last time it was like very clearly like there was that much water over there and then no water over here. It's a good second attempt, hopefully last attempt. It's a one inch difference now. One inch. We'll go with it. <laughs> it's looking good, especially considering that it's not green. You did a good job cleaning it. I didn't watch you clean it, but it's not green anymore, so that's good. Of course it's starting to rain right when I come out to do it. Right when I come out to do a freaking update. We have the new pump. We're trying to fill it. We don't have the hoses attached yet. Alright, it's starting to come down. <laughs> Get 
you're inside. I'm gonna do my update now because it's sunny. Maybe a little too sunny. Oh, hello. And he come running. Hi, bud. <sighs> okay, so I don't know when the last time was I filmed an update or showed you guys an update. It's this whole thing has kind of been all over the place. It's now September. <laughs> Today, specifically, is September 11th. A lot's been going on with the pool, but also nothing has been going on with the pool. We filled it and emptied it twice. It was severely out of level the first time that we filled it, and we could see it once it was full, so we decided to drain it, take the whole pool apart, redo the leveling. Um, we decided to put the foam down this time, put it back up. It's still a little out of level, but from what I've been told, not dangerously out of level. So we decided to leave it. We filled it probably about 80% of the way, not all the way because we didn't have um, the pump set up. Every video that we've seen of people that put this pool together says that the pump that comes with it is garbage. So we went and bought a new pump, a bigger pump, had to put it together, put it together, but we didn't get the hoses like set up. So we have those holes for the hose pump plugged right now and we we're gonna fill it the rest of the way do the chlorine and all that stuff and then get the rest of the pump set up but um we noticed all of a sudden there was less water in the pool and not like water that had evaporated like a lot of water so a lot of water was missing and then the next day even more water was missing and now it well now it looks like this <laughs> practically empty I don't know how that happened. There's clearly a leak. We think it's over here because this area is not dry because it's been raining a lot, but it's drier or it's wetter than the other sections, I guess. We're assuming it's here, but we can't really see uh, a tear or a leak or anything from the inside. So we're gonna have to, I guess, drain the rest of this and then see if we can't find a hole or something to patch it up. I don't know. It got to be tricky filling and emptying the pool and all that stuff because we would start to fill it and then it would rain and we couldn't be out here working on it when it was raining. Most of our, <laughs> the reason that's taken this long is because it's either pouring rain or it's ridiculously hot outside. Today there's a decent breeze, but when it came down to like redoing the leveling and putting the pool back up and stuff, it was too hot to be working. And when it was raining, we couldn't be working with the sand and all that stuff, we couldn't have a level surface. So. Um, it's just a back and forth of it's either too hot to work out here without hurting ourselves or it's pouring rain. And because we had a, a few days after we had started filling the pool where it was raining, we couldn't get out there to work on it. So the pool ended up getting the water, ended up getting green and disgusting. And we finally got it full, almost full, and put in the chlorine and it started to get clearer. But then there was the leak. So... That's why it's now September and we still don't have a pool. It's now four months, almost, not almost, but coming up on half a year that we've been trying to get this pool set up. I don't know that's gonna happen because right now we're approaching peak hurricane season. And if a hurricane is gonna come, we have to take the whole thing apart. Especially if we patch up that hole and then we fill it, put the chlorine in, we swim for two weeks and then there's a hurricane that comes, we have to take the whole thing apart. And that's just... <sighs> We need an in-ground pool. This, this was a bad idea. That is the update on the pool and why it hasn't gotten done yet, why I've not posted the vlog of all this footage that I filmed in the beginning, tons of footage and then suddenly no footage because it was getting frustrating. And I don't know when the next update will be for this pool. Hopefully sooner rather than later. 